Our Beyond Today live Bible studies have been going through the Ten Commandments. And this week we're going to be talking about the Eighth Commandment. Do you know what the Eighth Commandment is? Let me ask you a few questions first. You're checking out at your grocery store or your local department store. You're undercharged by a checker at the department store. You discover that when you get back out in your car or maybe home. What do you do? If, as you're examining your monthly bank statement or you're looking online to see where your funds are, you discover that they've made a mistake, your bank has made a mistake in your favor for $100, maybe even only $50, what do you do? You're a laborer, you're an electrician, you're a carpenter. You do a side job, you're paid $300 cash. Do you report it on your income tax form? What do you do? These are everyday situations that we're confronted with that test us on the Eighth Commandment. Now do you know what the Eighth Commandment is? Let me read it to you from chapter 20 of the book of Exodus, verse 15, very simple, you shall not steal, you shall not steal. As I've been working on this Bible study, this has been another eye-opener, all of the commandments are an eye-opener as we dig into the Word of God and to see what God's Word tells us about these ten cardinal principles of, of His law. What I've discovered or rediscovered as I've gone through the study of this is just how impactful this Eighth Commandment is to every one of us at so many different points in our lives. Uh, I probably will not have enough time in my allotted Bible study time to get through the, uh, the, the subject. And certainly as we do a daily here, uh, I'm thinking, wow, what could I cover? But these examples bring to a point of everyday examples. We find we might be the recipients of somebody else's mistake. Let me read to you just another point of God's law and, and teaching on this subject to kind of bring this home to us and to show how it impacts so many of our own lives and what God's Word says about it. In Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 14, <clears throat> in the midst of a section here in Proverbs that's talking about personal integrity, a, a, per, a man being righteous, walking in integrity, doing right before God, and even in verse 10 it talks about diverse weights different measures that are, they are both alike and they are an abomination to the Lord. In other words, God wants a business person to have an accurate scale uh, measure of what it is they may be selling, giving out to their, to their customer in return for cash, being accurate in what they deliver. Sometimes that, and this always works both ways. In verse 14, the proverb says, making a quote, as if a person is talking. It's good for nothing, cries the buyer. In other words, you're negotiating. You're trying to work a deal with somebody over any type of item, whatever it might be. You name it what it, what it could be. Something that's been used, something new, uh, labor, uh, goods or services. It's good for nothing, cries the buyer. And then it says, but when he's gone his way, meaning the buyer, then he boasts. In other words, a person says, this isn't worth this, or it's worn out, or it's not, the value is less than what you're asking, and one negotiates down the price to the point where even below market value, below the true value, and the buyer takes advantage of the seller. Sound familiar? Ever done that or tried to do that? He says, you, then you go your way and you boast. In the context of what God's talking about, even those of us who buy, need to be able to say that we paid a fair price and not taken advantage of another person in whatever situation, the seller, by buying below value, below market value. God's Word has a lot to say about the Eighth Commandment. This is just one verse of several and of many. Tomorrow's daily will give another example. But think about it, what you would do. SBT Daily. Join us next time.